A 22nd January 2024 joint meeting of the Federal Cabinet of St. Kitts and Nevis and the Cabinet of Nevis Island Administration is in keeping with the policy of ensuring both islands are developing in the context of being two administrative islands but a single country. Premier Mark Brantley welcomed the Federal Cabinet for its meeting on Nevis that was used to discuss critical matters of the state and to ensure there is full inclusivity on national matters. Prior to the closed meeting, Prime Minister Dr. Terence Chu made a statement indicating the importance of the joint cabinet meeting. Let me say to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis that part of what we promised as a federal cabinet, as a federal government, and even the ethos from the party from whence I come is really to have to have a relationship with Nevis that would redound in the benefits as we see in St. Kitts, that there is no difference. That is very critical and important to us. And as I often say, Premier, that a child in Gingerland would have the same opportunity as a child in St. Peter's, St. Kitts. A worker in Gingerland should have the same opportunities, or at least equity in opportunities, as any worker in Boyd's sinkings. And that is why we have taken such a progressive move that irrespective of the political differences, I think and I know that we are one people. And I think it is always good politics to ensure that Sinkits and Nevis are working together for the benefit of all of our people. There is no other way to do it. While not being too specific, it is believed that the geothermal project on Nevis, health, education and national security would have been discussed. Glenbart reporting for SK Newsline.